Welcome to Volo. We're here at Volo today to tell you about our Sterling project. Not Sterling Silver, Sterling Engine. We're building a Sterling Engine and we want your help with a Kickstarter project to get it going. <clears throat> What's a Sterling Engine, you might say? A Sterling Engine is an engine that runs off a temperature difference. A little different from a gasoline engine. It runs off hot and cold. So you can stick the engine in a fire, it starts running. You can put a flame on the end of it, it starts running. There are no valves, there's no gasoline. <clears throat> um, the Sterling engine has been around for a long time. It's been around since 1812. Before the internal combustion engine came out, Robert Sterling invented the Sterling engine. It was used in many industrial applications. It used to pump water, used to drive machinery, <clears throat> but lost favor with the internal combustion engine and its high torque. One of the things the Sterling engine is not very good with is generating torque, like what's needed in a car when you press on the accelerator and take off. But for constant torque applications like generating electricity, it's not bad. In fact, it's about 10% more efficient than the internal combustion engine. <clears throat> now, here at Volo, we've created a uh, prototype engine. And I have one right here. I'm just going to grab it. <clears throat> and I'll show you. This is our prototype Volo 1. <clears throat> Boy, it's an ugly looking beast. But it runs, as you'll see later in the You'll see later in the uh, video, it runs, and it's very simple. It's made of low-cost, everyday materials. <clears throat> you've got plumbing pipe here. You've got two pistons within that plumbing pipe. This is a flywheel, and you've got some Lexan kinematics here for uh, translating it into rotational motion. <clears throat> what we want to do is take this prototype, we want to blow it up. Blow it up into a working model, about one kilowatt size engine. <clears throat> From that, we'll be able to generate real electricity. <clears throat> Much like a solar panel takes energy from the sun, the sterling energy takes energy from heat and converts that into mechanical energy by which electricity can be generated. And that's our goal here. Now, <clears throat> we've already got our lab set up. We are moving forward, but we need your help. What do we need help you out for? Is we need a couple of more resources to make this thing happen. <clears throat> we need some data acquisition tools. <clears throat> we need a little bit more uh, tooling, precision tooling for some of the tolerances that are used in the uh, Sterling engine. <clears throat> so what we've got following up is a brief uh, overview presentation for you, about three minutes, and then we've got some videos demonstrating showing the uh, the prototype when we first got it running and some of the uh, further testing. I we'll hope you enjoy it. I hope you come on board with the Volo uh, Sterling Kickstart project. We need your help and we'll look forward to this uh, alternative energy revolution that is continuing to grow uh, throughout the U.S. Thanks so much for your help. Bye-bye. I don't know how you did it. Did you see this? Check it out. It's still going. Here, close near it. Honey, you gotta be quick. Here you can see the Volo 1 from a slightly different configuration. It's an ugly looking thing. Very quiet. All I'm hearing is a little bit of gas escaping. The linkages. And it just continues going even with no heat, no external heat applied here running off stored heat and metal. Very cool. And it's probably coming back to the end of its cycle. Welcome. The Voling Sterling Engine Project. 
Here are just a few slides that'll give you some idea of what we're trying to accomplish here at Volo with the Stirling Engine Project. Stirling Engine's been around for a long time. Back in 1812, it was invented. And it's known, also known as a heat engine. The way the engine works is basically managing the difference between a hot and cold section of air within a cylinder. It compresses it, expands it. From that, energy is uh, derived. The picture on the left is our, is our first initial prototype. One thing about the Stirling engines is they're actually uh, theoretically 10% more efficient, uh, around 10% more efficient than the gasoline engine. One of the things they're not good is with sudden acceleration uh, demands for torque. Uh, what's what's needed for cars? So they, they've still engines have never caught on with cars, but for electrical generation, they um, they can be a very good option. We've done a lot of uh, research on this. <clears throat> you can see some of the kinematic analysis uh, below in this graph. Also, uh, you can research or look through our library of uh, Sterling uh, research papers um, by going to our blog spot. There's lots of information there and uh, updates on how, uh, how our project is uh, progressing. So please uh, check it out. Um, so what are we doing? We're, we're building a Stirling engine for steady state electrical generation. Now this has been done before on a very small scale for desktop little uh, playthings. Um, but we want to do it on a real world scale. Uh, one that can do real work. About one kilowatt of output from the engine. Small enough for individuals to use cheap enough for all to use. And we're going to make it an open source project. Blueprints, build materials will be open on the website so anyone can use it. Why do we need a Kickstart project? Well, a few things. Uh, we've got a lab, development lab, and we've been uh, using that for the prototype, <clears throat> but we do need a few more resources. We need a data acquisition system. We need some real-time pressure and temperature sensors, along with uh, some higher precision tooling. <clears throat> and for this, we need your help. And that's why there's this Kickstart project. So please, help us with the Kickstart project. Lots of benefits to the Sterling engine. Here are just a few. It has a tremendously simple architecture, has a low cost, and it can use any heat source. It's very flexible. You can use burn wood, you can burn gas, you can burn chips. You can, whatever it is, and there's no exhaust from the engine itself. <clears throat> so please, kickstart us today. Thanks so much. Check that puppy out, man, huh? So what was it? What was wrong? I don't know. <laughs> now I think um, the temperature just wasn't getting hot enough. There you go. That's amazing. It is amazing. So now what are you gonna do?